good. It's not enough to just have good grades. It's not enough to have a great SAT score. They want extracurricular activities too. Ugh! I need to start a recycling program and I need special needs kids to do it. Honey, honey, this can wait. You're in the eighth grade. <sighs> then it'll seem too obvious. Everyone will think I'm doing it just to get into a good school. And all the good special need kids will be taken. Okay, okay, calm down. Yes, colleges like to see leadership qualities, and if it makes you less anxious, you can do something proactive like start a club. But I don't know how to start a club. I mean, what, what would be a good club? Well, is there something you're interested in that, that you know, doesn't have a club at school? The Salty Snack Organizational Club? Okay, well, that's good. Maybe something a little broader. What, what's big in your life these days? Worrying about getting into a good college. Fear of the future society. Okay, I like the concept, but let's give it a name that'll keep you out of the school shrink's office. How about the college prep club? Um, but I can still worry about my future, right? Mm -hmm. Emma, we understand that you don't want to talk about it because of all your weird OCD stuff, but don't worry, we'll all be sharing our stories with you. That way, you you know, if you never know what it's like, even if you never, ever have sex. You're right. I never will have sex mm -hmm. because I have already made love. With who? You haven't even been to camp. No, but I've been to a horse farm. Uh, I want to go home. That's where I met Beauregard. I called him Beau. Wait a second. You actually had protected consensual intercourse. Yes, and it was amazing. But you wouldn't understand, so let's just get back to the college prep stuff. Whoa, this happened? You, you have to tell us everything. It wasn't that big a deal. Okay, okay. We were on vacation, and I had decided to cool off in the lake. I didn't even know he was watching me from afar. As I emerged, my moist skin glistening like diamonds in the moonlight. That's when he approached me. Okay, get to the intercourse. Stop saying intercourse, it's gross. Okay! Oh my god. As he pulled me to him, I felt the hard shape of his arousal against my skirts. Uh, you were wearing skirts, you were just in the water. S swimming, swimming, swimming skirts. You have to wear them in Kentucky. Do you want to hear this or not? Anyways, his firmness urged me on and his warmth spread through my loins and he held me until the morning. Where were my loins? Then we rode back to the farm. He encouraged me to do a lot of extracurricular activities so that when we met again at a good college, we'd have connection. All right, so um, SAT versus ACT. Which one's best? 